Well, President Obama's nuclear deal with Iran was hated by a lot of people from the very beginning, and now new details are showing just how much this country gave up to get that deal. A report by Politico reveals the Obama administration released a number of prisoners who had smuggled military technology for the Iranian regime and dropped arrest warrants for 14 wanted fugitives. In some cases, they prevented federal agents from apprehending people who were wanted Iranians. Will this move outraged federal prosecutors? Congressman Eric Swalwell represents California. He voted for the Iran deal. He joins us now. Congressman, thanks a lot for coming on. Congratulations on the new time. Well, slot. thank you. Yeah, I, I hope the president that. gets to go to bed earlier now, too. I That's, hope so. I hope so yeah, too. That'd be good for all of us. Um, so you issued a statement when you went on board with the Iran deal, and you said this. After participating in classified briefings, asking tough questions of the Obama administration, meeting with proponents and opponents, listening to my constituents, I've concluded this is the best deal we can get, in effect. Yes, I still believe that. So you weren't told in classified briefings, presumably, or in response to your, quote, tough questions of the Obama administration, that we were releasing fugitives who were smuggling military technology to a terrorist regime. Were you told that? Did you know that? I didn't know about this part of the deal. I don't agree with uh, everything that happened, but I think being farther away from a nuclear Iran is a good thing, and that's where we are right now. Well, everyone would agree with that. The question is, how do you get there? And we also got prisoners back. These are, we, we did, yeah, not all. Four of them. Not all. There are yeah, Americans there's a, there's still, a former FBI still missing. That's that exactly that right, that we did nothing about. Yeah. But, but leaving that aside, you said you didn't know about this. This is not a small detail. So this is Politico's description. Some of these, the, these prisoners released from the United States, who were described by the president at the time as, quote, civilians charged with nonviolent offenses, quote, uh, were threats to U.S. national security, according to the Obama administration's own Justice Department. Would you have voted for it if you'd done that? You know, I'm not going to go back in time. What I know is that President Trump has a nuclear threat in North Korea, and if he had to deal with two nuclear threats today, I think that would be uh, quite uh, complicating for all of us. So I'm okay, happy that, that he that, only has one nuclear threat to deal that's, with. That's, um, in, in two ways, one, dodging yeah. the question, but in another way, you're well, assuming you that the Iran and, deal... Yeah. mitigated the Iranian nuclear threat. And that's a massive assumption. We don't know that that's true at all. Well, My question Secretary is, of State why, Tillerson how do you just feel that they lied that to you about this? Well, Secretary of State Tillerson last week sent to Congress that Iran is in compliance. And so they went from being three months away from having a nuclear weapon to now if they restarted their program and violated all of the agreements, it would take them at least a to year. To the extent we know. And we've been fooled before on a bipartisan basis. But I want to get back yeah. to the question here, which is, why do you think the Obama people lied to you about this? Uh, Tucker, I don't know if they lied to Congress or lied well, they didn't to anyone. tell you. Well, there's a lot. You that had to they... vote on this in public. You probably took a lot of heat for it, too, because a lot of people hated this, including I voted, I some of your constituents. I voted on taking nuclear weapons away from Iran, and we are safer because of that. Now, okay. we need but to count on our allies on. to enforce that's, the agreement. Hold on. That's a talking point. Let's get really specific. Okay. So in one case here, according to Politico, and no one from the Obama administration has denied this, um, as part of the deal, U.S. officials even dropped their demand for $10 million that a jury said the aerospace engineer illegally received from Iran. In another case, the Obama administration thwarted federal attempts to apprehend fugitives. They actually got in the way of federal agencies bringing these people to justice. If you had known that, would you have voted for it? Again, this is stuff I wasn't familiar with. I think they probably could have done a lot better job of working with you know, the agents and the Department of Justice lawyers who are working on these cases. But, Tucker, at the end of the day, we are all safer. What we should do now is pass in so Congress we, the Bipartisan Iran Sanctions Act. Okay. Nader, they are testing nuclear weapons. They're, they are testing ballistic missiles. Okay. And Nader Hagigi, okay, he got 27 months for fraudulently obtaining FAA credentials. He wasn't an Iranian-American. He was an Iranian national living in Houston. Why would someone like that get FAA credentials illegally? Tucker, you've you got, got more the, than two years in prison. Why would we let a guy like that go? You've got the wrong guy if you think I'm going to come here and defend Iran. I'm going to defend you the voted, United States. No, no, but you voted for it. You're saying it made us safer. Why would letting a guy like that free make us safer? And I don't agree with every part of the deal. I'm telling you right now, we're much safer because they don't have a nuclear weapon. But how do you We should know? make sure they're well, not testing on. ballistic wait, wait, wait missiles so of, that we can protect Israel should, and other look, countries. I'm not saying you're pro-Iran. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is you were hoodwinked. You got lied to. No, you got lied to. You admitted you got lied to. You issued a statement saying, look, I know the truth. I was briefed in a confidential briefing. I asked hard questions to these guys. They told me the truth, but they didn't tell you the truth. They lied to you and every other member. And I'm just wondering why you would defend that. They're a different branch of government that has to really debate and focus on, you know, exacting details. They brought a top line, de a top to a top line deal to us, and I thought, for my constituents' sake, for our country's sake, and for the sake of the world, 
let's take a nuclear weapon away from Iran. Would it be cool for the Trump administration to lie to you in, in a similar way? Again, they did not misrepresent anything. Well, of course us. they did. They called these people civilians. The president said these were nonviolent offenses. They were abetting terrorism, trying to get military equipment to a terror state, in, in, in one case to Hezbollah, speaking of threats to Israel. Yeah. So these are big questions, and I just don't, knowing you as I do, I don't yeah. think you would have voted for a deal that did that. Yeah. And what so I, I think they kind of yeah. shafted you in this, don't you? Well, what I'm focused on right now is making sure that Iran is not terrorizing the world. So there's a bipartisan Iran Sanctions Act with Ed Royce and Elliot Engel that I and many others in Congress support that will make all of us more safe if we take ballistic missile okay. capabilities uh, Again, from Iran. we're all That's for what being we be more safe. On. But will you also concede, since yeah. you know this matter well, that details are what matter. So you can say, I'm making this safe. But if I'm letting people who are smuggling missile technology into a terrorist state go free, and I prevent the U.S. government from bringing others to justice, that's not the same as making America safe, is it? I just don't agree, Tucker. I, it I is think, the same as making America I, safe. I think that our constituents wanted us to do everything we could to take nuclear weapons from Iran. We did that. And the Secretary of State certified that that is happening right now. So what are your constituents you may not agree say? with you so know, look, certain there are a lot prisoners of who are released, but at the end of the day, do you want to be at war with Iran right Nobody now? Nobody wants to be at a war with Iran. Right. Nobody does. Nobody wants that country to have nuclear weapons other than the mullahs who run it. My point only is this, really simply. A lot of your constituents, some of them are Democrats, this is not a purely partisan issue. Not at all. Looked at this deal and said, this is a bad deal for the United States, it's a bad deal for Israel. And you looked at them and you said, no, I've talked to the Obama people, I trust them. Yeah. Now we find out Politico, hardly a right-wing organ, proving that they lied to you, and they did things they would never do in daylight. I don't think they lied to me. I think they could have handled this better with the FBI agents and the Department of Justice lawyers. But at the end of the day, the top line takeaway is we are all safer because Iran doesn't okay, have Okay, so the tales don't matter because they you matter. still believe the basic promise. Okay, I hope yeah. that the Trump people lie to you like that. You'll say all that matters is the top And line. I genuinely only want Donald Trump having to deal with a nuclear North okay, Korea Okay, right Trump now. is bad again. Yeah. Congressman, thanks for joining us. Yeah, of course.